Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to LJC Crafts. Today we are going to be making Tiki from Miraculous Ladybug. I know she doesn't look exactly like Tiki, but with rain bloom it's kind of hard to make them look exact. So right now I have two options. They both have their black spots on the forehead. One of them has purple eyes, one of them has black eyes, and one of them has no black spots over their body, and the other one has a few. So I'm going to do, um, for this video, I'm going to do black spots over her body with purple eyes. But you can do whatever you want, whatever eye color you want, and whatever light color you want her body to be. So let's get started. For this video, we are going to be needing a bunch of red elastics for her body. You're going to need, I'm going to use two purple elastics. This is for her eyes. You can use whatever color you'd like. Two white elastics to go around her eyes. And then a few black elastics. I have six, and these are for the spots all over her body. So you are also going to need your loom for this, plus your hook. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with making her head. So I'm going to use one red elastic and put it on the top middle. And then for the rest of this, I'm going to be using two elastics for the rest of her face. So I will put two elastics diagonally to the right, like so. And I can repeat the same thing actually on the left. Sorry if you can't see, it's kind of hard to film rain bloom. Just like so, we can also push that down. And now we're going to continue on the right side using two elastics at a time. We're going to go down three pegs, so kind of using total four elastics in groups of two. So we'll just, oopsies, do that. So we have two elastics, and then we're gonna meet in the middle diagonally down again. Just like so, and we'll repeat the same thing on the, the left side. Putting our elastic bands three pegs downwards using two groups of two. So you can push it down, and then I'm going to use two elastic bands. I'm using red, and I'm going to meet in the middle of her face, like so. And now I'm going to do the middle of her face. So for this, I'm going to use actually two black elastics going down like so. And then for these pegs, I'm going to just use two red elastics. And I'll do the same thing. All meeting on the same peg at the bottom. So it should, oops. So all the elastics should be meeting on the fifth peg. So now we can get started on her body. I'm going to be using one black elastic. So now for the whole body, we're going to use a twisted elastic, which means I'm going to get a single elastic, put it around my fingers, and twist it. This just makes the body tighter. So as you can see, her body looks like tighter than her face because her like face is pretty big. So I'm going to use a, um, a twisted single elastic. And mine can be black. Yours can be whatever color you want. So again, uh, you'll get start getting the hang of it, or you may already know how to do this. Get one elastic, I'm going to put it on my two fingers, twist it like so, so it has two layers, but it's only one elastic, and we're going to, oops, bring that down again, so the elastic should have two layers on it. So we'll do this again, twist the elastic and bring it down, like so, and now we are going to do that one more time and I'm going to use a black elastic. I'm going to twist that black elastic and bring it down again here. So you should have one, two, three, four elastics going through the body. Two of mine are black. So I'm going to get another single red elastic. You're using one elastic at a time for the body. Put it on my finger, twist it like so, two layers. And we are going to, where I put the, so this is the chin, where I put the black elastic, right the peg below the chin, I'm going to put this twist elastic diagonally downwards to the right. So these are going to be her arms. We'll do the same thing on the left side. Get one elastic, twist it, and we are going to put on the left side diagonally down 
like that so you can kind of see her little arms. We'll do the same thing. So we're going to do get one elastic, twist it. All these elastics are going to be twisted. The face should be two elastics at a time. The body's going to be twisted. And we're going to put it down. So this is the right arm. We're going to put, so the right arm is going to have two elastics. Now we're going to cap it off. We're going to get a single red elastic. We're going to twist it around four times. So we're going to put it on that last peg. Twist it one. This is two times. Three and four. We can do the same thing on the other side. We're going to make an arm, so we got to add one more red elastic. Remember, twisting it. Bring it downwards like so. And we'll do a cap band here. So for my cap band, since I'm right-handed, I always have to like turn my um, loom around so I can cap band it. That's just my the easiest way for me to do it. And if, again, we're going to do it four times. But you can do whatever way you want. So now I have my arms and two cap bands at the end and if you want you can actually make this cap band black like I did for my other one and now we're going to work on the body so we have one two three um, elastics three since the arms so there's actually a total of four elastics the arms would go on this second and then you'd have three elastics under the arms and then we'd lay it on this peg. So in total, it should be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should be on the ninth peg in the middle row. So now we're going to make the legs. So you're going to get a single red elastic, twist it, and put it here. Be careful, especially when we're, when we're going to loom it later, because these elastics are very fragile since they've been twisted and all that stuff. So the legs are going to be like the arms. are only going to be two elastics. So we'll twist it again, adding to the right side, so like the arm shape. We go down diagonally, and now we're going to go straight down on the right, like so. And we'll add a cap band, so we got to push those bands down. And the cap band we're going to twist around four times. So one, two, three, and four. We'll do the same thing on the left side. Getting a single red elastic, twisting it two times, placing it diagonally. So on the la last peg we used in the middle, we're going to do it diagonally to the left and straight down so it's symmetrical to the right side. Again, you can add spots of black wherever you want. Like I did for this one, I added some black on the arms and a bit of black on the legs. You can do whatever you want though. This I'm just adding black on the body and of course on her forehead. Anyways, we'll get back down here and we forgot to add our cap band. So of course, because I'm right-handed, I just twist mine. This isn't necessary at all though, it just makes it easier for me. Anyways, twisting the cap band four times, so you should have four layers. So now you should, I'll just show you what your end result should look like after you add the elastics. So you can make sure yours looks like mine, or you have some black elastics if you want. And like that. So again, the legs are two elastics plus cap bands that are wrapped four times. The arms, two elastics and cap bands are wrapped four times. So now we are going to add triangles across the face and her eyes. So I'm going to get a single red elastic. And if you don't know, we add triangles so that the three rows kind of stay together. So as you can see, her face is kind of like one. If we didn't add the rows, these three elastics would kind of be separately, like the three rows, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So anyways, we are going to start on the third peg in the middle. So one sorry one two three and we're going to make a triangle so third peg on the left to third peg in the middle to third peg on the right so we have a triangle and now here we're going to, going to add our eyes so I'm going to show you how to make eyes the eyes are going to need two purple elastics or two black elastics whatever color you're going to use for the eyes and you're also going to need two white elastics so you're going to get your eye color mine is purple and you're going to twist it around your hook four times so one two, three, and four. So you have four layers there. So twist around four times, so you have four layers there. Now we're going to get our white elastic. So you're going to get your singular, your single white elastic, and you're going to twist around four times, except around the purple. So we'll put it under the purple. You may have already watched the tutorial before and already know how to do this. And we're going to get it under the purple, wrapped around two times below it. Sorry, like so and then two times above it, like that. If you don't want to add the white, you can just add purple 
it just it's just your own preference I just like how the white looks so we're gonna make another eye right above it so we can kind of push this down and make another eye try to fit it you just need to repeat exactly what we did to the eye before it and you're just going to make that eye right above it like I'm doing in the video shown so you should get somewhat of a this result so as you can see they look like your eyes and now you're going to get your sorry your red elastic your singular red elastic put it on the edge of the hook and we're going to basically slide everything up so I'm gonna so you can just slide yours up in sections like I'm doing try to put it in order so get the two white elastics first then add the purple then the white again just try your best it's when you put on the red elastic it's not going to look exactly like it was on the hook but just make it as close as possible so these are my results as you can see this one kind of got a bit screwed up it didn't go in the right order but that's all right so now we're going to get our loom again so let's just grab that and we're going to go below the triangle so on the fourth peg in the middle and then on the fourth peg on the left and right we're going to place this so i'm going to start on the right sorry the left side putting the edge here and i'm going to separate the eyes a bit and try to put that band in the middle. This can be tricky sometimes if the two bands don't want to separate. But we're just going to put the red band in between the two eyes like so. And then just hook this on the right on the right side. So fourth peg on each. Fourth peg in the middle, fourth peg on the left, and fourth peg on the right. So now yours should look like this. And now we are going to finally start looming it. So we are going to get our hook. And I'll just start on the right side, and we are going to basically put our hook into the cap band, so it's easier to show you on its side. We are going to put the hook in the cap band, and there should be two layers of bands. So we are going to want to grab those two layers of bands, bring them up like this, and onto the peg above it. You may already know how to do this, and this may be super easy for you. If you don't, you can just do this more slowly and pause the video whenever you need. Now we're going to go into this elastic band like this, grab the, there should be two rows of elastics, grab them, and put it diagonally up to the middle. So it should look somewhat like this if you loomed it properly. We'll just repeat the same thing on the left side, going already through the bands we have loomed and bringing it to the band above, and then bringing it to diagonally to the same spot we put the right side on. Now we're going to start looming this side. So we're going to go to the middle, the last pig we use in the middle, there should be a, a few layers of bands. We're going to go in there, except it's not only four layers like the cat band, there are more. So we're gonna to wanna to go through all the red elastics. And then we're going to wanna to get the two black in the bottom, bring it upwards and over. Of course, if you did not use black, then it wouldn't be black, you just wanna get the two red at the bottom. So, and again, I'd make this teardrop shape so you know it's right. Go through the black, grab the two reds, and bring it above. Until you get to this piece where the arm starts. So as you can see, I loomed it all the way up here so that you make these teardrop shapes. And now I'm on the peg where I attach the arm. So I'll do it on the right. This is, so this is exactly what we did on the legs. You just want to go through the cap bands, and you're going to want to bring it to the middle right where they all attach or we stop looming in the middle you just want to bring it on that same peg so they all meet up so your thing so so far should look like this so now for this part in the middle peg you want to be very careful because there's so much tension in here it breaks it very easily when i was testing out how to make tiki this broke so many times so especially because this is twisted twice so you want to basically Go through all the red like we did before and grab the two black bottom or whatever color you have. The thing is you want to pull it up very slowly because this will break and then you'd have to move all the bands to redo it. So you may think I'm exaggerating how slowly I'm going, but it breaks very easily. So just pull very slowly and get to the elastic above. Hopefully it doesn't break. If it does, then you'd have to move all these elastics other places, add that black elastic back on. And it's so now you're going to want to go through the black elastic like we usually do and get the two um, top. So there are going to be six elastics here. The two top will go to the peg above it. The next 
2 will go to the left. And then at the bottom, 2 will go to the right. I'm going to start looming on the right. So remember how we added these eyes? There is an extra um, elastic now because of that. If you go, oops, if you go on its side, you'll be able to see it better. Basically, there's going to be three elastics. You're going to go want to go into the one above it, the top one, and then the two at the bottom should go to the peg above. Same thing here. We added this triangle, so we are going to want to go in the top elastic, get down, and go and get the ones above. You're always going to want to go into the triangles. Now get the two at the bottom, no triangle here, and just do it diagonally in the middle, second peg in the middle. Same thing on the left side. We're going to do the same thing on the left side, going through all the triangle bands and just bringing it to the peg above and then meeting in the middle like we did with the right side. So we're going to start the middle, going into this eye elastic, which is the top one, getting the two at the bottom and bringing it above. This is stuff, the face is much easier than the body. Getting the two black, bringing it to the peg where everything is at. Now, there are so many elastics on this peg, so you want to be careful here. You want to get this one elastic. So this will be all the way at the bottom. And what I always do to help me find it is I reach through all of them, and then I go to its side and I get the hook from this side. So it's just easier to find which one it is. Or you could just do it normally like usual. It That just helps me grab the right elastic. So, but anyways, you'd want to get the elastic at the bottom, very carefully pulling it slowly so it doesn't break. And bring it here like so. So now you should have everything loomed. You can carefully look again. I'll just show you how mine looks. Like that. So now we're just going to want to knot it. Going to want to go to its side. See how there's two elastics here? to get the one at the bottom and bring it over the other one just like so and then you want to slightly tug this you don't want to um, tug too much or it would break you want to tug it enough where see how that's kind of shrinking you want it to be tight enough but do it slowly so it doesn't break because elastics can be quite delicate so now that your whole thing is loomed we are going to take it all apart <laughs> Now you should have your shriveled up tiki. Um, she looks a bit odd right now, so let's go fix her. Basically, you're just going to want to grab her and spread her out. Looks kind of violent, but just kind of want to pull out her face, but be somewhat careful because you don't want the elastics to break. Pop in her eye if it's hiding. Um, so one side, you can see that her eyes aren't showing, so you'd want to get the side where her eyes are more popped out. And then this side where the black is showing better also. And basically, we just want to fill around with her, stretch her arms out a bit, and her body out a bit, just like so, until you get the perfect, well, shape, I guess you can call it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and comment below any other video side suggestions. We do any art videos, and we do any rain bloom videos. So we'll see you next time. We post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and sometimes some extra surprise videos. Bye!